Welcome back to the Zingy channel for another daily video. If you are new to the channel, you already know what to do. Subscribe or you'll lose your Fortnite account pretty much. Also hit the like button because that helps apparently. To get straight into this video, this is going to be a review of the film Joker. I've just went to cinemas, now I've seen it. I love this backdrop by the way, it's got a shadow behind me. It looks very spooky Yes, fits the whole theme of it being Halloween. But yeah, what a film. Can I say what a film? And I purposely left these AirPods in to take off now because I realised when I walked out of cinemas, I was wearing AirPods throughout the whole movie. And this this is a problem. Like I wear these these things too much and it wasn't a, it wasn't even a flex, like it would I probably could have heard more if it was actually obviously then have anything playing. But why was I like it's meme it if you want. I was wearing AirPods to watch Joker. Like, what's good? But anyway to dive into the movie, probably one of the best movies I've seen. Probably the best movie of this year, I'd say, so far. I haven't seen it, so I guess maybe you need to see that maybe do another video if you want to see that, let me know in the comments. Maybe judge which is a sort of better like horror film. It wasn't even a horror film to be honest. It was a film where walking into it, I knew it was going to be very good anyway because of the hype and, you know, friends and family saying it's very, very good. And it's a movie where people don't jump to conclusions. If you don't like superhero movies, it's nothing to do with that. It's nothing to do with like Batman versus like Batman and, you know, the Joker. It's a completely solo film just for him. The reason why it is so so good is because there's so many turns in it that you don't expect Spoilers by the way before we start this video We are going to be reviewing Joker the film so if you haven't seen it already Then do not watch this video watch Joker then come back to the video cheers So obviously I said the spoilers at the start so I can tell you the turns when like Joker sort of just turned like when he was in the apartment And he sort of just killed that guy obviously he killed the three people as well on the train It was very unexpected all three of like all the times when he, you know, he sort of lashed out. And I did like the whole part of the fact that you saw his own life. Because in Batman, in like the comics even, as geeky as that sounds, yes, he used to read comics. Like, he was just known as that sort of evil character that's like, huh, you know why I got these scars? And sort of just, that sort of, that was it. That was an awful accent. I might as well just leave the video. No, I'm joking, like, cringe. But it's good to see his own life and his own suffering. So in the film, I guess at the start, we sort of feel sorry for him. But then as you know, like during the end, I guess you sort of don't, you sort of just laugh at him and it, it almost turns into a comedy of such at some point, like the, the part with the, um, the midget. But I would say I don't want to get backlash from this video or from anyone or offend anyone. That's not really the right terminology, even I've just said it then, to use. And that's why I was, I was a bit wary when I was watching the film. I was a bit like unsure what they were thinking when they were doing the jokes against, you know, smaller people because of course you know comedy is comedy and it wasn't really even a comedy film but or stand up or anything but they did make some jokes about you know the lock and the you know the small person or the irregular sized person i really need to do some research before i start making this video don't i but all in all it was, it was all for entertainment purposes and it was an amazing film like i said it was good to see you know his personal life and his struggles especially i love the concept with the laughter as this like it's a disorder they, they could have just made that so crap the film quite frankly like when i heard there was a new joker coming out not to be like a pessimistic sort of person but i was like oh here we go now another like decent film that they're gonna probably ruin the name of but they done so well like i said probably one of the best films i've seen this year and i mean that like production wise it was good the storyline was good and it almost got more creepier and he got more frustrated to the end of the film as we all saw but he was going ham like at the end near the end of the film like he was just go he was shooting everyone he was killing he didn't even care the whole things with the mask at the end like it's kind of creepy like more some of these films are more realistic because it's the one where it's like it can happen like it's, it, it, it can happen like a lot of you know horror films nowadays or even just you know any sort of suit he's not even a superhero he's a bad guy but any of these sort of marvel type films um, even though it wasn't even by Marvel, but these type of, type of films are usually very unrealistic and that's why people don't like it and people like to see stuff that could actually happen in real life scenarios and, you know, the whole thing of his comedy and even right at the end him making jokes still and him just being a complete psycho, quite frankly, and locked up. I found that very, very interesting. I think personally, the reason why I did like it so much is because it's, I don't like cliche films. I don't like films that are like, you know what's gonna happen basically. And it's just like the same old cliche things happen. But this wasn't one of those films that you didn't know where it was going. You thought it ended, you know, 
when the Joker and the mum was in the hospital, like, but then it took another turn, and then he went out into the streets, and then chaos was going around, and then you thought he would be taken to prison, then he got hit by the ambulance car with, you know, with all the Joker people, all the people clowning, and the things with the clowns on the political side, I like that, like, I like the whole concept of that, it's different, is they've not really dived into anything, that looks really weird, it's like a spider there in the shadows, sorry, that's a bit weird. But they haven't really dived into, you know, politics really in these sort of films when they're meant to be more, you know, serious or jokey or just about one category. But yeah, all in all, I'd give this film out of 10, a 9 out of 10, or even a 9.5 out of 10. Um, such an amazing film, probably one of the best I've seen in a long while. Thank you for watching this video, that's all I've got to say for today. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, hit that like button, let's try to get to 20 likes at least. Subscribe if you're new, hit the notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Also, if you want to see more of these type of, you know, reaction videos of talking or viewing films, tell me what film I should watch next. It, whatever, I'll go see it and bring you back another review. Alright, peace. Now your vids hold no weight, like Titanic channel sinking to the ground. Talking your piece on the web, karma always come around. Eating up these W's, can't you see I have the crown? Feasting on you enemies, dead and buried in the ground. Digging your own hole in the soil of what I found Your shit inconsistent, I don't really fuck around Put some respect on my name, you playing with the hounds I've been waiting, I've been saving all these bullets, all these rounds And I wonder why this hate or this hate don't come around I'm the king to the front of this shit, wearing the crown Flooding all you haters, you ain't shit, now you left to drown